For those who miss South Park's Joining the Panday, I strongly recommend catching it on Paramount Plus with eventual availability on Comedy Central. This special event was a direct critique of Disney, particularly addressing issues involving Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy and their handling of franchises like Star Wars, Marvel, and Disney's remakes. Anthony James here. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, and if you found this video informative, a thumbs up is much appreciated. I'm genuinely grateful for your continuous support. Please stay to the end because I have a few updates to talk to you about. Well it's happening, apparently Disney will literally double down. That means more beloved characters will be destroyed for OR current generation. One city of us share about Kathleen Kennedy is how she altered is how she altered and deviated from the source material, leading to a perceived watering down of Star Wars. The sequel trilogy in particular attracted criticism for departing from the expanded universe's foundation. South Park's Trey Parker and Matt Stone didn't miss this either, as they parodied Kathleen Kennedy and her influence in their Panderverse episode. Disney and their stocks still haven't learned and they still refuse to make movies and TV shows that people want to see. The movies and TV show that used to dominate from Disney will not return anytime soon. Let's address an issue that many of us find concerning Kathleen Kennedy's approach to Star Wars. She's been criticized for altering and diluting the essence of Star Wars, diverting from the source material and cherry-picking elements from the expanded universe. She even claimed that there was no source material to rely on for the sequel trilogy. Trey Parker and Matt Stone parodied Kathleen Kennedy in their Pandaverse episode, suggesting her as the driving force behind such changes. Kathleen Kennedy has seemingly taken notice of the ongoing criticisms and actions of Parker and Stone on Comedy Central, and has responded with a significant plan. Just two days after the Pandaverse event aired, Kathleen Kennedy made a statement saying, I would be lying if we have not noticed some part of the fandoms of both Star Wars and Marvel pushing back against our creators and myself and those like Dave Filoni and Kevin Feige. I have been in this business for well over 20 years, and I can absolutely say that we have a problem with our culture, especially when you have television programs creating a parody on our efforts with our fan-favorite franchises here at Disney. She continued, what I will say in response to that is that we have no plans to stop with what we are doing with Star Wars and Marvel. I am proud to announce that we will be doubling our push to make our films more diverse and promote equality on all fronts with our movies and television shows. Mr. Fage is a dear friend of mine and we share the same opinion on that. We are on the same page. Any television show or groups of people that are opposed to that, I believe need to rethink their lives and way of thinking into how the modern world works. Kathleen Kennedy also addressed animated parodies that continue to satirize Disney's efforts to normalize the entertainment industry. She stated, Well that's their problem. We have a great road ahead of us with Star Wars, especially with our upcoming Acolyte series. Furthermore Kennedy mentioned, We are already in talks for a season 2 of Acolyte that will empower women and those from different backgrounds to have their moment in the spotlight. The same approach will be applied to the future of Marvel. We are doing our best not to pay attention to overly demanding fans or any television program that attempts to alter our path to success for both Star Wars and Marvel. We are looking to alter the source material in ways that will satisfy both new and loyal fans around the globe, with different interpretations of established characters and material that's been around for decades. We find any program that pokes fun at Disney and what they stand for is unprofessional to say the least. The issue with Disney today is that they appear somewhat cowardly and insensitive to the ongoing effects of Bob Iger's cost containment plan. This is why many shareholders are divesting from Disney, as they are moving on to different strategies and distancing themselves from the company. Some families have even boycotted various Disney movies, TV shows and theme parks. This leads Disney to become desperate, forcing Kathleen Kennedy to openly announce that they are doubling down and intensifying the diversity, equity and inclusion. DEI efforts, which are widely viewed as flawed and hypocritical. In summary, these events illustrate the growing tension between the entertainment industry and those who question the direction it's taking. Your thoughts on this matter are highly encouraged. Now let's move on and talk about Rachel Zegler for a second. We found out through Mark Wedd, the director of Snow White, that Rachel Zegler is piss at South Park. A lot has been unfolding between Comedy Central and Disney, particularly involving Disney's CEO, Bob Iger. The Pandaverse event is making waves, with a surge in subscribers on Paramount+. Plus. 
Behind the scenes this three-part event has been approved by Trey Parker and Matt Stone to continue their witty critique of woke Disney and the current state of Hollywood. Now a significant aspect to note is actress Rachel Ziegler. She's faced ongoing controversies regarding her comments about Andrew Burnap and Snow White 1937, branding the prince as a stalker, among other provocative statements. South Park's mockery isn't ending with the pandaverse, as Parker and Stone intend to keep taking jabs at Disney, sensing a goldmine of material where the demand is high. Beyond this, behind the scenes Comedy Central has been entangled in disputes with Disney's board of directors, including Bob Iger. The creators of South Park, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, are intensifying their content, leading to an intriguing development regarding actress Rachel Ziegler. Furthermore, they managed to secure Comedy Central's approval for two additional Pandaverse episodes to continue their satirical storyline. In the second part, they aim to further the narrative around Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, and the return of Mr. Mouse, all while introducing Steamboat Mickey, now in the public domain. Ziegler is fully aware of Comedy Central's intentions, which have been made public, giving Disney a heads up on what's to come. It's worth noting that the comedic duo Parker and Stone is capitalizing on hot current topics to provide content that resonates with viewers. The three-part Pandaverse event will evolve to include Rachel Ziegler, slated to appear in the third part. Meanwhile, the second part continues the satirical story with Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger. Comedy Central is resolute in its pursuit, refusing Disney's requests to cease their parody efforts. Disney is also planning to release two Snow White movies in 2024. The pitch approved by Comedy Central involves Ziggler leading a group of woke Snow Whites, challenging non-woke counterparts, including the 1937 Snow White and Brett Cooper's version. The concept is to pit woke and non-woke Snow White characters against each other. Trey and Matt aim to wait until both Disney and The Daily Wire release their Snow White movies in 2024 to continue this satirical storyline. Rachel Ziegler and her team are preparing a statement addressing South Park's mockery, suggesting that Disney is utilizing Ziegler to defend the company. In conclusion, South Park creators Parker and Stone have a knack for addressing trending topics and creating content that resonates with viewers. Their mockery of Disney and other current issues has become highly popular, leaving Disney and its shareholders anxious. Share your thoughts on this intriguing development. Hopefully Rachel Ziegler can get her act together soon but I believe it's already way too late. Maybe they should just scrap the Snow White reboot or use it as a tax write-off like WB did with Batgirl. What do you want Disney to do with Rachel Ziegler? Now a few house cleaning thinking I need to get to, I have a second channel that I will start being active on again. Anthony James TV. Also a brand new channel that more for scary Reddit stories. It's called Anthony's Hauntings. Both channels are linked in the comments. If you enjoyed this content, show your support by giving the video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more updates in the future.